We are not flesh and bone alone, but a current of unseen energy. You know, within us there's a hum, a symphony, symphony, a vibration of our atoms, the earth's heartbeat, and obviously the whisper of our own minds. WTF is PMF? No, that is such a good question. But I have another question for you guys before I answer that. Why do we just pop pills in our mouth because the doctor says to do so? Why do we do a double standard like that where we ask about WTF is PMF, but yet we don't ask about what the doctor is giving us? People want to know how PMF works, but nobody knows how Tylenol and aspirin works. Do you know? So why don't we stop this double standard and we really start asking about all those weird acronyms, what they are, and we start trying to understand a little more about what the doctor is prescribing to us. Does the doctor know? Welcome, welcome. This is a slightly different video that I usually make because for the long-term viewer, you know we're building PAMF here and I try to educate on what's a good PAMF and try to demystify some stuff. Um, WTF is PMF is a really, really good question and it's very hard to answer what and how it does and why it's so magical somehow, right? And I scratch my head a lot about why is it so difficult to answer. And then I found out that like the pills and the drugs, like they're also nearly impossible to explain, right? So that really inspired me to make this video today. And that's basically what we're going to talk about today. Not about the drugs, we're going to talk about PMF. So before we dive right into the the magic of it, okay? I'm gonna make a quick disclaimer. PMF is under um, a lot of scrutiny, first of all, um, but the biggest thing we have to keep in mind, okay, is that research is ongoing. We are just starting to really understand the way PMF work, and then the more I look into this, the more I realize that we don't really know too much about how the body really, really, really works. So. A lot of that stuff, right? Like we need we need a lot of research into it. Like just just keep that in mind, okay? Okay, so let's dive right into it. Why is PMF first of all work works with so many people and appear to be so magical that all these companies out there they claim like it can heal you from ingrown toenail all the way up to cancer, right? Um, it can make you heal better with a cold, make you heal better with pain. It just goes on and on and on and on and on. So much that it feels like it's like impossible to believe, right? Well, I found the answer, right? They're not lying, right? They just don't know. They just don't explain the whole system. Many, many disease and injury, they share a common pathway. What does that mean is they all have something in common inflammation and it's been proven time and time and time again that the proper style of PMF reduces inflammation it can modulate inflammation and it can promote cellular uh, repair so just that alone would probably heal about 80% of the aches and pains we have out there now how's that for a good start in learning what PMF does okay so one of the main reason why PMF is so good at dealing with so many different issues comes down to the fact that PMF is really good at dealing with nation. It's also really good at helping with cellular signaling. What does that mean? Well, here's some example of chronic inflammation side effect. Chronic inflammation side effect can be 
for example, heart disease, it can be brain fog, it can be eczema, it could be memory problems, it could be um, joint pain, arthritis, weakened immune system. Those are all caused by chronic inflammation. The list goes on, like, it's crazy. The more I study this stuff, the more I realize that chronic inflammation is like 80% of our issues as human beings, especially as we age. Now, cellular dysfunction, well, it's basically when your cell just stop working properly. They start acting funny. They don't do what they're supposed to do. So it causes premature aging. Cancer development, should we say that? Um, it increases your cell death too. Like the cells basically are more vulnerable to disease and everything else and they just can't fix themselves anymore. Um, like I've even studied some organelle dysfunctions and stuff like that. I'm going to save you that part because it's pretty, pretty bad. Um, at the end of the day, all these fancy words, I still felt like I was like, what the hell? Still don't understand why does PMF work so well why it comes down to this Faraday's law is one of them Faraday's law is basically the magnetic field um, when it interacts with the cell it introduces a small tiny little electrical current which can alter this the cellular signaling so that that induction uh, basically energizes your cell makes them communicate better remember square wave is king the other thing is the direct resonance effect. That one, what I've read in papers is there's researchers that believe that certain frequency can help heal specific things. We're not sure on that. There is very little research done. And to my knowledge so far, I haven't found any conclusive evidence of that. But it's still on the table. I feel I have to open up a bracket here. The human body is not a tuning fork. There's so many complex um, parts inside of us. Every bits and pieces of us already resonate at a specific frequencies. And to alter that would, would require a lot of factor, right? So the re resonant frequencies is a big, big topic. And there's a lot of charlatan, to put it mildly. I like to abuse that unknown knowledge right now and just feed on that and it makes people want to believe stuff. What I'm getting at is there's a lot of woo-woo happening in there, okay? I'm not saying it's not worth investigating. It is, right? And we think that if you can vibrate the cell at a specific frequencies, you could actually clean up their ion channel and that's what comes up with a lot of heavy metal would come out of your body and then when the ion channels are cleaned up out of the cell they can communicate better so yes there is something there but not the way the industry as a whole like to portray this that's just what I want to say keep your guards up okay they're exaggerating this quite a bit now the next one is the Lawrence force that one is basically has to do with charged particle ionizing and stuff like that. And that's something that happens a lot in the cell. The cells have to make themselves either more positive or negative to attract stuff like calcium, for example. And PMF can help with, with that, like a lot. And that, that one is, has been proven pretty, pretty much. Like it's, we know that one for sure. The next one is a little bizarre. Because the next one is about PMF can make water wetter. What I mean by that is it reduces the surface tension of the water. And by doing that, it makes it easier to be absorbed inside the membrane of the cell. PMF also, when the magnetic field hits the cell, can make the cell membranes more permeable, which means it, it's easier for the water to go through it. Now, we're mostly water guys, by the way. All right, so let's just get that out of the way. So now imagine you have a cell that's more like easier to go through and you have water that's more liquid. All of a sudden, 
you have a wickedly good positive vicious circle. The body's inflammation and communication system is extremely intricate, okay? The more I learn about it, the more I, I, I get that. It's kind of a funny statement I'm about to make. What we know, we know it very well. We just don't know everything and we don't know what we don't know. And then we have so many questions still, right? So I would really like research to take this machine of mine and start doing some really hardcore research on that. We may have to convince the big pharma about this, but hey, whatever. So long story short, PMF. How can I say this without being... Um, how can I say this without coming across like a ludicrous person, right? Let's compare PMF to medicine for an example. Pain, standard pain medication is designed to block the pain signal, for example, uh, while PMF reduces the inflammation and PMF is more of a gentle, all-around embodying system that helps your body heal itself, while medicine is more... Uh, I'm backwards here. Okay, let's, let's start that again. Standard medicine, standard pain medicine, for example, is designed to block the signal directly, while PMF might reduce pain by combining a decrease in inflammation, improving circulation, and modulating the pain signal pathway. So, Pharmaceutical, a powerful, targeted intervention with a lot of side effect a lot of the time. PMF offer a more gentle approach to the whole system. It's more holistic, right? The reason why the big pharma doesn't like it because it's hard to commercialize that. Plus, because it fixes so many things, you know, it's hard to upsell the customer because, yeah. Anyway, I don't want to go down that path. This isn't what it's about. It's about it's about PMF and how it works. Yes, I'm always up to something around here. Sometimes it has nothing to do with PMF, and some other times it does. But if you've been with me for this long, um, you know on Patreon I'm way more active than here. The video I put on YouTube, I try to make them clean and not opinionated. I'm a little more free on Patreon that way. Um, we have a lot of really good conversation. We just finished a whole series on this. This is a chair PEMF basically. So if you're interested, go check that out. If you want to build a PEMF, for sure you need to be on Patreon. If you want to see a bunch of behind the scene videos and talk, you also need to be on Patreon. Um, you can access me directly too on Patreon, we can, we can talk. But anyway, let's summarize this whole thing once and for all. PMF is an energy-based healing, while traditional medicine is chemical-based healing. PMF does not heal you directly, but helps your body work at its optimum. Pills modify you, numb you. PMF is gentle with no side effect. Traditional medicine, tons of side effect and doesn't really cure the source of the issue most of the time. While PMF does not heal you directly, it does attack the underlying condition of the whole thing by allowing your body to do what it needs. Now I got a big caveat for you guys, okay? I'm not saying that traditional medicine is the way of the dinosaur. Not at all. We've, we've, we need this, okay? Like, it's not time to PEMF if you just broke your arm. It's time to go to the hospital, get it put in place properly, get some Tylenol into you for the pain, then come home and then PEMF, right? If you had into a car accident, 
it's time for the EMT to do their stuff, blah, 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 blah. And then you get home and then you can PAMF, okay? PAMF is a really good complementary stuff. The problem I have with traditional medicine just comes down to that like, we use it for everything all the time, right? There is alternate ways to do stuff, okay? It's like we like to use it for everything. And I think that's where we go wrong, right? The industry is complicated. It's a growing place. So that'll be a video for another day. But down to earth right now between you and me and the fans post, there's room for PMF to be part of the health ecosystem. It can alleviate a lot of issues. It can solve issues even before they become issues, right? It's proactive versus being reactive. Traditional medicine is reactive. We go see the doctor when something goes wrong. We can do a lot of preventive medicine with PMF by exposing ourselves to a well-built PMF system, right? Even a shitty one would give you something, right? Like, don't get me wrong. But long story short, I love this stuff. I want to thank you very much for being here with me. Check out the Patreon. Um, my email is in the in the doobly doo down there. And if you have any question, just go right ahead. Leave me a comment. I'll try to answer it. If it's a crazy comment, I'll probably ignore it. But uh, long story short, we do crazy really well. I'm just joking. Okay. So you guys be safe. I hope you enjoyed this video. And. Um, We'll see you sometime soon.